Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are curious to see how I got this look that I have, stay tuned because I'm going to show you my second, second, ugh, get ready with me. And we'll see if you like this. I've got some new makeup on and new eyeshadow on, courtesy of some of my awesome friends. I think maybe my foundation is a little light. I probably have to add some more color to it, but let me know how you like it. Thank you all so much. Stay tuned to see how I got this whole look. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to give this another shot. I am just not, you know, I'm just not good with doing get ready's with me. My skincare is done. I have my uh, Timeless Vitamin C, my Timeless Matrixel, and I have my CBD oil on my face. That's pretty well what I did for my skincare this morning. I've already put my Olay Pro Retinol around my eyes and my Pure Coffee Bean Depuffer. I've got that on. So eyelashes, Essence in the Purple Last Princess, and I am using the primer that I have on my lashes is the Essence Primer. I do not use a primer on my lid. I do my eyes before I do my foundation. I have nothing else on my skin. You're seeing uh, me in all my glory, <laughs> naked glory. So what I normally do is I take a little bit and I put this all over my movable lid and right up to my brows. This is the Wet n Wild Cream Brulee. This is the one that's really hard to find. You can find a cream brulee, but it is not the same one, even if it's the Wet n Wild, because I think they have two versions of it. So I normally just stick this, you know, on my lid all the way up to my brow and then I start with my shadows. We came home, as many of you know, you probably saw some of the videos, at least I think you might have seen some of the videos of our girls weekend. I had gone down to South Carolina and Jay and I spent a few days in Charleston, South Carolina. And then we took a road trip up to North Myrtle Beach area where we connected up with Sheila from Simply Sheila, used to be Life with Lily's YouTube channel, and Marlene Fab and Glam, and we spent the weekend with them. And it was amazing, amazing time. So we have videos, we have clips, we have Insta stories, we have all sorts of different things that have already been shared about that girl's trip. And one of the things that I got out of many, the wonderful friendships and just getting to know these lovely ladies and building that lasting connection with them was priceless but Sheila gave me this palette. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. It's a MAC palette and this is what I'm going to use today on my eyes. So aside from my cream brulee, I'm going to start with this lightest color here or a light color here and I'm going to do that into my crease. So we, we had a most amazing, amazing time with them. We, we came home late Monday. We had some flight delays. We came home late Monday and Tuesday was a full work day for me. It was just like a, a crazy, crazy work day, Tuesday. And I ended up getting a call. I was in some meetings, just trying to, you know how it is when you go on vacation, you just get so much to do to get caught up. Anyways, I ended up getting a call from my mom. I don't remember what time it was now. You can see I do this eye, I do that eye, I go back and forth between the two eyes because if I complete one eye completely, the, ne the other one never matches up. So I just find it easier to do it this way. So anyways, my dad had has some health issues, as many of you know, congested heart failure. He has a couple of other issues going on. He has prostate cancer in advanced stages, but that's not going to kill him at his age, the doctors have said. It's, you know, it's being managed. This is something that was never diagnosed or never treated. He also has severe osteoporosis, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, severe, and that is something that was not diagnosed and not treated because I don't think routinely they gave those types of tests or looked at that for men. It was more of a woman thing. He has arthritis, and so between the prostate cancer, the osteoporosis, the arthritis, and now the congested heart failure, my father at 91 is, he has been, he's led an amazingly 
clean life, you know, in the sense of that he basically has never really abused alcohol or abused, you know, anything of that nature. He's very fortunate. For 91, he's lived the way he's lived because that, I think, has given him the strength to get through all of these different issues and illnesses that he's had. So, as you can see, I'm just blending. I did that crease. Sometimes when I go in, I go above the crease. This is my favorite Sigma brush that I'm using. I think it's like, is it, I can't see it. It's like a 145 or something like that. I usually darken it several times. It takes me quite a while to do my eyes, so I will darken it. I will blend it. I try this darker color right now. This one in the very corner here. And what I would normally do is just go right around my, my crease and go up a little bit. I feel like I'm really making a total mess, which I probably am. But this is just sort of how I do it. So anyways, my mom had called me and she said my dad was having just a really hard time. He could he was having he couldn't sleep, he wasn't breathing, his legs were very, very swollen. And so I said, let's call an ambulance, let's bring him to the the emergency room and all that. She said no, he didn't want an ambulance. The decision was made that she was going to drive him to the hospital. I was going to meet them there. So this was all Tuesday. I have to work really quickly. Um, left everything a mess and all that and just I just went to the hospital. My father on Monday had fallen and on Monday he had fallen and it, it was really difficult for my mother to get him to get him up. It was just very very difficult for mom to get him up. Apparently unknown, no wonder he was in so much pain, but apparently the fall caused him to break several ribs. He basically had six broken ribs. So what I'm taking right now is this middle color right here. Just to kind of give a little bit of a lighter look on the on the movable lid or a little bit more of a color on the movable lid. I want to try to do everything with this one palette with the exception of my pop of color that I normally do on my lid at the end because I, I use a couple of different things for that. So anyways, dad's been in the hospital all week. It's been really, really rough on him. He's never really been in the hospital that long. I feel, I'm probably rambling. This is probably not what you're expecting. Get ready with me to be talking about my life. <laughs> so he's um, going to need a valve replacement surgery. Left untreated, His they can manage his condition, uh, but they can't make it better. It will continue to get worse. And he will basically that you can measure his life expectancy in months at this point in time. So anyways, what we're trying to do is stabilize him enough so that he can have a valve replacement surgery. If he has that, he'll be able to breathe. He should be able to walk and do things that he would normally have done, you know, go down the garden, things of that nature, and, and just have a quality of life that he hasn't really been able to experience these last two years because he's just rapidly gone downhill. My looks are usually more plainer everyday looks than anything else. So, so now I'm gonna just deepen my crease a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit more crease work. I can see, you know, the mess ups that I've done. One of those things, I guess. So anyways, I normally do my eyeliner and all of that stuff, I really can't do it. I'll probably do that off camera. I'll probably finish my eyes off camera, finish my blending when I'm looking in a good mirror so I can really see what I'm doing. But in my eyebrows and all that, like you're looking at me with naked skin. No lipstick, no nothing, just trying to put eyes on. I uh, am going to be using, and this was sent to me via the Octoly Network. I got three of these from Kevin Aquan. These are his foundation balms. The three shades that I have are in a medium shade, and I'm going to show you the ones that I have. But I'm going to use the one that is the lightest for me on my skin, and that's the look you'll see either at the intro or at the end of this video. But I'm going to use this balm. I'm very, very curious about it. I have very dry skin, so right now my skin is treated with the CBD oil, so my skin looks pretty moist. And I think that a foundation balm will go on really beautiful. But this was sent to me via the Octoly Network. I have three of them to try. They come with a little brush and each one has a brush in it. I actually like the brush. I don't know if I'd apply it yet with the brush because I don't tend to apply my foundations with a brush. But I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. Oh, and the other thing that I got from the Octoly Network that I was like... 
that I was really super excited about because many of you know that I talk a lot about my oh my hair's falling apart I um, I talk a lot about my hair when I put my hair up and I use these little scrunchies I've done the messy buns I've done those demos for you well on the Octoly network one of my favorite messy buns this is one I've been using for quite a while you've seen in my hair a long time see how great of a match it is anyways one of the one of the things that I saw on the Octoly Network was that hairdo, which is the manufacturer of the hair pieces, buns, ponytails that I have liked the best so far. And I've used many. I've used some from Revlon, from Sally's Beauty. I've used many different cheap ponytails or whatever you want to call them. They're really cool because they wrap around yours, but your hair. So I've used many of these, but the ones I like the best are from the company called Hairdo. And I bought a number of them. This is one that I purchased from, I think in Ulta, and this is hairdo. What I really like about these are the fibers. So the fibers are heat defiant, true to life synthetic type fibers, heat defiant, so you can, you can actually style them, you can actually curl them. So when I saw this one on the Octoly Network, this is one, and this is a little pop. I really liked about this is that it's small. I I really like how small it is. Again, it's got that scrunchie. You can put it around your hair. You can make a bun. Perfect color for me. This again is called the Pop Wavy Wrap. And my color is Butter Toast. This one is just really cute. I like this compared to the one I normally have, which I know you probably can't see much of a difference, but there is actually a difference in volume. There's not a difference in color, but there's a difference in volume. This is the one I wear a lot. And this is also one that I wear from Hairdo. This is just a little tiny wispy piece that sometimes I just put on top of my own messy bun look. And so all of those from Hairdo that I've bought. So when I saw this on the Octoly Network from Hairdo, I said, yes, I've got to try it. So I was approved and they sent me this. And I also requested their double wraps because I know how much I love the quality of these because I've used them, I've bought them, I adore them. So I requested this one also. It's a two pack. You can see this in Ulta. I've bought the two packs. I have actually bought physically the two packs in Ulta. I really, really like it. Now I don't know if it was me that made a mistake or what, but they ended up sending me a golden blonde color. I don't know that I can make it work, but I'm going to try, but they ended up sending me a golden blonde color as opposed to the Butter Toast. I don't know if you can see the Butter Toast is obviously a little bit darker. It's more closer to my own color, but they sent me this and absolutely thrilled because I love these. Again, heat defiant fibers. You can actually wash these. You can actually style them. That means you can use a curling iron on them. You can make whole, a whole different kind of look. And they're scrunchies. The one I have already open. I didn't open that one. This is the one in my color. You just wrap it around. Sometimes I wrap this around my claw clip. I have no idea how this is looking because I wrap it around my claw clip. Sometimes I just wrap it around a ponytail. So it's really cool. It's really awesome. It's a great way to, to fix your hair. So I've come back with my cleaned up, I can see I'm gonna mess, with my cleaned up finished look, I'm gonna have one of those wraps in my hair. I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, this might never see the life of day, but I can't believe I'm actually doing another get ready with me. Holy moly. And I don't look the greatest. I think I'm tired and whatever. But you can see, I do my eyes just like this. I go from one to the other and I just try to really kind of match them up. Very hard to see in this mirror and over there, but I do try to match them up. Hey guys, I'm back. So what I, um, what I ended up putting in my hair was the smaller pop one that I got from Hairdo via the Octane Network. I'm going to do a quick, a quick spin so you can see. It, I like it because it's very, it blends in and it's just, it's like more casual. It's not like a whole bunch. <sighs> Don't I have a wicked big nose? <laughs> so anyways, my own hair is through the top and I have this slightly pinned. 
I think it looks really nice. It looks very natural. It doesn't look overwhelming. I think it's perfect for a casual day. So thank you so much for this hairdo. And I haven't tried the other color yet. I haven't even opened it yet. But I actually think I can get away with this color, even though it's golden blonde as opposed to the butter toast or the wheat color that I normally get. I like it a lot. So the rest of my makeup, what I ended up doing is I put the Kevin Aquan Medium FB06. This is the foundation that I ended up putting on. I did not use the brush. I used my fingers. You can see where I dipped it in. And I found it to be heavier, creamier texture than I'm used to. I'm just used to a lighter foundation look, something that I would have to build up more. I can't tell you how this is gonna hold out on my skin. I will tell you that I did put my CBD oil on. I did all my skincare and my CBD oil makes it so that my skin is not quite as dry. I don't know how this would be. I've heard some of the comments that, you know, it doesn't work really well on dry skin which I have, but so far I think it looks really, really good on me. But we'll see how, how the day goes on. But I think this shade is the closest to my skin. And again, that's FB06 Medium. Before I put that on, I put my color correction. I love this little palette from e.l.f. I don't even remember how much it was, but I, I've talked about this before. I ended up putting the green on my nose to kind of neutralize. You can still see I have some of my veins. Um, my veins are a lot better than they ever were, but they're still there. They still pop through. So I put the green on my nose. I put the peach around my eyes. I put the blue over here a little bit. And this is just the color corrector. I don't think I used the yellow at all, but I love this from e.l.f. And then when I was done that, that's when I ended up putting on the foundation. And then I used this palette, which was given to me by Marlene Fab and Glam. And I showed this, I think, in my video that Girls Weekend. So I used this for the contour and this for the blush. Marlene taught me kind of how to put the blush on, like um, pouncing it instead of going like this with the brush. And then I used this. This is such a sweet little highlighter. So I use this palette. I really like it. Thank you so much, Marlene. I also use this concealer. This is the Boeing one that I got. And oh my gosh, this is a heavy duty concealer. What I did is I put this on after I put my foundation on, I pounced it in a little bit just to cover up a little bit more of the veins. And I have, I had a dark spot here that I put on. That's really it. It's, I have to go super, super light. I don't go up under my eyes. No, no, no. I don't know how women can do that because on me, it always looks horrible. And then I used my, when I was all done that, I used my, I just really like this. This is by Essence. This is the banana powder. I just really, really like this. And I take, my cover came off. I'm so bummed about that. And I take a little brush and I just lightly brush it all over. And I think it just gives me, to me, it gives me a little bit of a glow. I like it a lot. So the other thing that I have on my lips right now, I have an Avon lip liner. And then I have the number 450 Romantic Rose. I think this is my favorite pink. You can see I'm almost out. I really, really like this. And I like almost any Avon lip liners. This one is Mystery Mauve Avon lip liner. I actually got this Avon lip liner down in South Carolina. We went to a flea market and there was a big Avon setup. And so I picked this up and I picked up a few other things. I feel really bad because I usually buy all my Avon from one of our fellow content creators, Julie. I'll link her below. That's where I usually get my Avon, but it couldn't resist Julie when I saw it in the flea market. So I got it. And then when I finished off my eyes, I used my Urban Decay. This is almost gone. I used mostly this. And for my eyes, this is their, you know, the um, waterline. I've used this. It's, I need to, I have the replacement, but I need to just toss this. But I'm just trying to get every last bit of it out. And then I bought this Physician's Formula. And I talked about this in my recent video. I really don't know what happened to it. I think it's probably user error because I don't know if you can, can you see how the hairs have split? And it could be just the way I put it back, but I can't get them to be tapered 
anymore. The hairs are curled. I'm sure it's user error, unfortunately, because I really like this for a wing. My brows, um, Brow Power from It Cosmetics, called Universal Taupe. I bought this. This is probably my third one. I, I really like this. this. is the best one. And I topped it off with my Blink. I love this stuff. This is, I mean, this sets it. It fills in. It really, really makes my brows look good. I, I love it a lot. So for the color you're seeing here, this is my Ulta Beauty. And I think this is in the shade Eye Lilac a lot. I mean, I love lilac a lot, but I like this. So this is just sort of like a crayon, if you can see. I hope you can see. And I just kind of like, you know, went into my eyes. I think that's, I think I covered it all. So that's what I have on. And um, my hair, oh my gosh, I love this little bun. I do, I love this little bun. I just think it's so cute. So, oh, one other thing I wanted to tell you. I received also from Fresh via the Octoly Network this Rose Sugar Lip Treatment. It's 15 SPF, and I think that's what I'm super excited for. So when I got up this morning, before I put my lipstick on, I actually had this on my lips. I put it on underneath my lips. I can put it on the top of my lips and it doesn't affect the color. It's 15 SPF, it feels really good. It's a sugar rose lip treatment with 15 SPF. Got this via the Oxley Network from Fresh. Thank you so much, it's awesome. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. I also will appreciate your continued prayers for my dad. Thank you all so much.